I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. Here is a test question on intersection of planes. The question is, consider the following planes, pi1, x minus 5y plus 2z equals to 10, pi2, x plus 7y plus pz equals to minus 6, and the third plane, pi3, is 8x plus 5y plus z equals to q. Find the value of p and q so that the planes intersect in a line. You can always pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestion. So we need to find the value of p, which is unknown, the value of q. So these two values we need to figure out, and we are given that the plane should intersect in a line. Perfect. So I hope you understand the question itself. Now let's look into the concept on this. So concept is kind of like this. We can have an augmented matrix now if you have a solution which is intersection of a line that means when we say intersection of a line intersection of three planes in a line. That means infinite points, correct? So that means we are looking for a parametric form, right? Of line. So we expect one parameter to get the equation in terms of a line. Now, how will the augmented matrix look like under such conditions? That is what we need to figure out. Now here, the matrix should be something like this, that we'll have uh, some numbers, right? We could actually draw it like this. So when we say augmented matrix, we are actually combining two matrices, right, two or more, and uh, writing the coefficients, perfect. So, so what we are looking for is something where we could have numbers in the first row, some numbers, correct? Of course, we'll write, try to make this as zero. However, we want the last row to be all zeros. So that is the kind of uh, reduced form of the matrix which we are looking for. So that really means that somehow we have to make all this all zeros and then we can say that the solution is of a line. So this will have line as a solution. Is that clear to you? Perfect. So let's begin to solve this. You can also pause the video, answer this question, and then check with my solutions. So I've again written the equation of the three planes. So let's create our matrix now. So from here, we can write down that writing the coefficients, we have 1, minus 5, 2, 10, correct? Then we have 1. 7, P, P is the coefficient, 6, 8, 5, 1, and Q, right? So that becomes the augmented matrix. Now, first step should be to get zeros for these two positions, correct? That is what we are interested in. Now, how do we get these zeros? So to get these zeros, we will do... Um, r2 minus r1 or we can do r1 minus r2 but since we want p to be positive we can actually first let's copy the the first row as such which is 1 minus 5 2 10 right so we're doing nothing to that one it remains as such now here what we can do here is we can do r2 minus r1 1. So we'll take away row 1 from row 2. So 1 minus 1 is 0. 5 minus minus 5 is 12. 
and we get p minus 2. Minus 6 minus 10 gives us minus 16. Correct? To get 0 here, we can do 8 times the first equation, which is 8 times r1, and then we can take away r3. So that should give us 0 here, right? 8 times. Now, 8 times 5 is 40 with a negative sign, so it becomes minus 45. 8 times 2 is 16, minus 1 is 15. 8 times 10 is 80, so we get 80 minus Q. So that's what we get for the third row. So we have successfully written two zeros. Now we want 45 to be 0. So how do we get that part? Right. So let me again rewrite. So we have 1 minus 5, 2, and then we have this part, which is 10. We'll copy the second row also as such. No change is required at this stage. We'll write this as 12p minus 2 minus 16. Now here we want 0 at this position. So what can you do? How could you work with these two numbers to get 0? So clearly, I have to multiply the first one by 45 over 12, and then we get 0, right? So what I'm trying to say here is that if I multiply this by 45 over 12, in that case, we'll definitely get 45 minus 45, and that will be 0. Perfect. So that's what we are looking for. So we want to actually multiply by 45 over 12. Is that clear to you, right? You could simplify this and then uh, rewrite, since both can be divided by 3. And in that case, this could be written as 15 over 4. So, so that could also work. However, I prefer to write 45 over 12 itself. And then we'll simplify later. Right? But there is no harm in simplifying also. So let's uh, write down this step clear. What we're trying to do here is we'll multiply the second row by 45 over 12. So when I do that, then we get 45. And then we are going to add it since we have minus 45 here. Okay? So, so we are going to add this particular thing to R3 to get our result, right? Okay. So if we do this, the first one is already 0. That is 0 minus 0. Now 12 times this, and that is negative 45, will give us 0. So we got that one. However, this becomes slightly more complicated. So we have here 45 over 12 times P minus 2. And from this, we have to take away 15, clear? This 15. So we get the position. And on this side, we are going to multiply 45 by 16, right? So that is what we are looking into. So we will do 45 over 12 times minus 16. And from this, we are going to take away 80 minus Q. Is that clear to you? Put them in brackets so that you don't do mistake. Good. So that is what you get as your augmented matrix. Now clearly, in this particular case, we want what? We want this portion to be 0, right? And we also want that to be 0. And that should give us the values of P and Q. Perfect. So let's try to solve this now. So uh, let's begin with the, the left side this portion, which is 45 over 12 times P minus 2 minus 15. We want to make it equal to 0, right? So we can take 15 on this side. So we get P minus 2 equals to 15 times 12 over 45. So that gives you, we can simplify this. 15 goes 3 times and that goes 4 times. So we get 4 here. So with that, the value of P is equal to 4 plus 2, which is 6. So we have one of the answers, and the answer is that P should be equal to 6. Is that clear to you? Now let's do the other side. 
which is okay let's change the ink also so we have 45 over 12 within brackets is minus 16 and then from this we take away 80 and then we take away q now let's simplify this fourth portion we will get uh, Let me change the ink to, okay, that is good color. So now we can actually divide this by three. So we get 15 here and we get three times four and that four goes into 16, four times with a negative number. So what we get here is equal to 60, correct? So with the negative sign, we get minus 60, open the bracket and that should be equal to zero, right? Minus 80 plus Q equals to zero so that means minus 140 plus q equals to zero and that gives you the answer that q should be equal to 140 clear so that becomes the value of q so we got both the answers we got the value of p and q in this particular case so that is how you are actually going to solve this particular question now we can write down our answer here which is p is equal to 6 and q equals to 140. now as an extension to this particular question what you could do is that you could actually uh, find the equation of the line of intersection correct so let me write down the question for you that is let me extend it question let's extend this and we'll say find equation of of the line of intersection perfect so let this be the the question for you to work on rest of the solution has been provided i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.